this uh, sending sh uh, planes to strike and then uh, aborting the mission or publicizing that you're aborting the mission, does that make the U.S. seem weak or strong in the eyes of Iran? I think by nature and by temperament, um, Trump is a poker player where you need to, to you need a check play, uh, chess players. And the problem when you are transforming this crisis into a poker game is that the United States has a very, has a very, uh, very weak hand because everyone knows that it won't go to war. There is no, there is no uh, revolver on the table, and the Iranians know it. When Israel was in, in a certain way in, 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 um, in conflict with, uh, with um, Iran, uh, probably Netanyahu and Barak, the prim, prime minister and the defense minister, defense minister lied to the head of the Mossad and to the head and to the chief of staff of the army. So they will act as if you're going to war. You need, in order, the, in order to make the Iranian believe that you will strike, you need to go a long way. So the United States has a very weak hand in, in poker. Uh, however, if it was a chess game, uh, the, the sanctions are doing harm in, in, in Iran. Uh, Iran is not in a bad shape, in a good shape in, 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 uh, in Syria. And China doesn't want uh, trouble so, so if the game was more complicated, more sophisticated, there would be things to do. Well, when you, you turn it into a, a, a Western poker play, a game, it's, it's badly run, and it, I, I, don't, I don't understand where he wants things to go.